I've been an avid primitive bow hunter for over 20 years and I'm continually amazed at how effective and deadly Stone Age weaponry can be in the hands of a skilled archer. Unfortunately, most modern hunters look down on wooden bows and stone arrowheads as toys, better suited as childlike playthings rather than real weapons. Some states have even outlawed stone points, dictating that only modern steel arrowheads can be used for hunting. Here I'm going to put modern steel broadheads to the test against their Stone Age predecessors. In this video I'm going to test the penetration of three stone arrowheads against a modern steel broadhead. The stone points were made of Texas flint and were all mounted to the arrow using the same materials available in the Stone Age, pine sap glue and deer sinew. The steel arrowhead was made from a circular saw blade and was identical to those used by the Plains tribes during the 1800s. Its edges were honed on a sharpening stone until they were razor sharp. It was also mounted using only pine sap glue and deer sinew. The target would be a freshly killed deer with all its organs still in place. After the test, the deer would be butchered and the meat, brains, bones, and sinew would all be used. Nothing would be wasted. What I'm attempting to do today is to actually test the penetration of stone points versus steel points on a freshly killed deer. I want to test and see which ones penetrate better and which ones are more lethal. So what we've got is a freshly killed deer that my brother got and we're going to shoot these arrows into that deer and see how they perform. Alright, stone points are first. Here we go. Wow, that's pretty impressive for a stone point. So you hit the shoulder blade, Eric. There's the end of the fore shaft. It's got to be in there at least a good six inches. I actually hit high and went through the shoulder blade with a stone point. It probably would have got much better penetration, but it's not a very good shot. But even still, it's deep enough to be lethal. Okay, third and final shot with the stone. Buried up to the feathers on that one. No damage done to that stone point. Okay, now it's time to test the steel. Here we go. Pretty comparable to the stone.
The results were impressive. Stone points proved just as deadly and effective as modern steel broadheads. However, the second shot hit the shoulder blade. Even still, it was able to punch through the bone and enter the chest cavity, though its penetration was greatly reduced. Even more amazing was that that stone point suffered almost no damage. This is the actual point after being recovered from the deer. It was resharpened and would be used the next summer to kill a 140 pound wild hog. The steel point, as expected, was very lethal. However, the advantage of steel is their greater strength if shots are a bit off and hit heavy bone. Though some states have outlawed stone points for hunting, the results of this test show that stone points made by skilled modern nappers are just as deadly as their modern steel counterparts. It's my hope that this video will prove to the skeptics that stone arrowheads are effective and they have a right to be on your arrows if you choose to use them.